Welcome to Bark Owls and Nature Bites. Today we're talking about this critter right here, which is called a northern shrike. Now, unfortunately, this is not a living northern shrike. This is a study specimen we have here at Bark Owls, and we found it alongside a road, unfortunately, and we used it to help show people up close what these birds really look like. I did try to find a live shrike for this video, and I thought I had one, I missed it, so I tried it again, had a second one, missed that one. Third one I couldn't get either, so I figured third shrike, I'm out. I'm gonna use this one instead. So northern shrikes, they spend their springs and summers up in Alaska, northern Canada, it's where they're gonna breed, but they do come down to the southern Canada, northern United States in the winter months, and that's when we can see them, and they'll come down here for the winter. Now for a northern shrike, they have this really nice gray plumage, black wings, with these little white patches right here, same thing kind of the tails, and also like a black eye mask, almost like an eyeliner, black mask right around their face there. And it is another shrike in the United States called loggerhead shrike. It's rare in Wisconsin, more common in the southern part of the country. Looks very similar, except for northern shrikes, they have a horizontal barring on their chest. Kind of faint, a little hard to see right here. For loggerheads, they don't have that. It's a very clean looking chest. But chances are, if you're hiking about in the winter in Wisconsin, you see something that looks like this, you have a northern shrike. So northern shrikes, they do like habitats like this. There's brushy open areas, right on the edge of wetlands or forests, few trees. That's their type of habitat. Their range in the winter is about 500 to maybe 1,000 acres. So a pretty big range in the winter. They even had one that was documented to have a home range about six and a half miles, square miles in the winter. So pretty big for sure. They'll live three to five years on average, but they did, again, have one documented that lived about eight years and seven months. They had a band that they're observing for a number of years. So that's quite a long time for a bird this size. So this bird's a little bit different than other songbirds. It's not gonna eat bird seed or anything like that. This bird is actually a predatory bird. It's gonna eat insects in the spring and summer months, but it's also gonna eat small mammals and also some small songbirds. So it's a bird kind of like a hawk, but it's pretty small, a little bit smaller than a robin. They don't have a, like feet like a hawk, with this big talons, their feet almost act more like a robin's um, feet, but they do have a very sharp bill, really sharp beak, and an upper and lower mandible have little hooks on, almost like a little tooth, and that's a really good adaptation to have to use to kill their prey. So what they'll do is they'll just watch for a small songbird or a small mammal like a vole or a mouse, and they'll go for it, try to grab it with their legs, and then use that sharp beak to go and bite the back of their neck, right back of the head of their prey, to kill it. And then what's a really unique adaptation these shrikes have is they'll take that prey and they'll go and impale it on a thorn or like a barbed wire fence or put in a fork of a, a branch of a tree or a shrub and they'll kind of store it for later and they'll kind of scatter them around. So that way if it's hard to find food later on, they have little caches of food. It's like a little stock in the pantry of food to pick from. So it's a really good indication if you have a shrike in the area if you see a dead bird or a dead mouse impaled in something in the area. So for shrikes, Definitely one of my favorite winter birds. This is a really cool looking bird, again, with that really nice plumage. When you're hiking around, look in the top of a tree or a shrub. They like to sit in those predominant perches, kind of looking over the range, looking for something to eat. And I know there's that saying, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Well, for shrikes, if you see some dead birds in the bush, you mean you got a shrike on the land. Thanks for watching Bark House Nature Bites.